Hello everyone, just delay, it's one more. And guess where I am now? Okay, I'll tell you. Actually, I'm in the Dongjeo Lokang Park in Lhasa. And this is a relatively big and a typical one park in Lhasa. So many local people like to walk and exercise here. And today, I like to share with you the uh, ancient trees, uh, which has a history of hundreds or even thousand years uh, of the willow trees in Lhasa. And let's go. First of all, let me give you a brief introduction about Zhongyang Lokan Park. Zhongyang Lokan Park is located behind the Potala Palace. The lake is lined with ancient willow trees and the scenery is very charming. And now, let's go with me to see the ancient trees in Zhongjiao Lokan Park. Let's go. Okay, and what I want to share with you today is just the willow trees. And we all called it as a left-handed willow trees in Lhasa. Because, you know, we can see the willow trees everywhere. Uh, we can find it uh, in many parts of the world. But just a little bit people or few people have seen the uh, left-handed willow trees in Lhasa. According to the legend, the left-handed willow trees were planted by the princess Wencho. And at first the tree stood upright and then because the princess was homesick, every morning she would gaze in the direction of her hometown and over time the willow will rotate to the left to accompany the princess in her homesickness. Now we can enjoy the beautiful scenery of the willow trees that we called the uh, left-handed willow trees in Lhasa. In addition to the willow trees in Zhongjiao Lokang Park, we can also see them in Norbalinka. The scenery is also very charming and welcome to Norbalinka. In fact, the willow trees in Zhongjiao Lokang Park have a great role. That is, when people are tired of walking or tired for circumambulating, they will have a rest. Uh, under the shade, under the willow trees, you know. And we can see behind of me, there are so many local people, they will rest, have a rest under the willow trees, or they are also exercise under the willow trees. And you know, recently it is very hot uh, in Lhasa, so, so many local people will like to have a rest uh, under the shade to feel the cool. And I also like to and the above is what I want to share with you guys today. And the scenery of the Dongyeob Lokang Park is very beautiful. And when you got some stress at the work or when you encounter some unhappy things, welcome to the Dongyeob Lokang Park to feel the uh, healing scenery and also uh, can relax your body and your mind. That will be very helpful. Don't ask me how do I know that. Remember to subscribe me because I will bring you some interesting places in Zhongjiao Lokang Park next time. And bye, just delay.